When I look back at my life, if there's anything that uh, I'm most proud of, and even when I'm dancing with the angels, just to know that I had an opportunity and took advantage of it to help young people emerge with a broader insight, a great appreciation uh, for uh, the Israeli people, uh, I think it's all worth it. The program the late Maryland Congressman Elijah Cummings was talking about is something he created back in 1998 along with leaders of Baltimore's Jewish community. It's called the Elijah Cummings Youth Program. And since its inception, the organization has sent Baltimore high schoolers to spend the summer at a youth village in Israel fostering cross-cultural dialogue and creating bonds that last a lifetime. The bonds that were built in this program were just beyond me. Um, one of the people that I met in the village, his name was Yoav. Um, we we get along, we had a lot of things in common. And even though we haven't seen each other in months, we still text every day, we still talk every day. He still FaceTimes me to show me the goats in the village. It's just like these bonds and these connections that I made it's just beautiful. I feel like if I ever, when I go back to Israel again, I know I can call them, spend time with them. It's just like they're my second family from home. They may not look like me. They may not be the same color as me. They may not be the same religion or the same culture as me, but they're family to me. And, you know, I wouldn't trade that for nothing. Wow. Tonight, the organization will celebrate its 25th anniversary in Baltimore. And joining us now to discuss board member for the Elijah Cummings Youth Program, his daughter, Jennifer Cummings. And Maryland Governor Wes Moore, who will be giving the keynote address at tonight's event. And this is really special to Mike Barnacle and me at the table and Joe and me um, and Jennifer, because uh, her father married me and Joe. Um, we chose him for many of the reasons that you just saw. His incredible inspiration, his belief in people, his belief in democracy, democracy and his defense of democracy, even in the final years of his life and we miss him but his legacy lives on of course through this program so jennifer i'll start with you because i think when you were speaking with joe on the phone about this the war hadn't even broken out and yet you guys have been working so hard on trying to build this program tell us more about it Sure, absolutely. So um, just at the outset, uh, thanks for having us on. Um, so the Elijah Cummings Youth Program, uh, turning 25 this year, um, it's a really important uh, part of my dad's legacy and something that um, I'm committed to helping ensure lives on for generations to come. Um, you know, as you mentioned, the war, uh, the, the October 7th uh, terrorist attack against Israel had not occurred, um, you know, and as we were in the planning phase, is, um, you know, we we do have partners on the ground, uh, like at Yemen Nord, the youth village referenced in the video uh, in Haifa, um, but currently, you know, no no students on the ground, and that's because they travel to Israel for about a month uh, in the summer between their junior and senior years of high school. Um, and it's all focused on dialogue. Uh, the curriculum is very much focused on helping these young leaders develop their voices, uh, develop their worldview, um, and leave the program prepared to serve as ambassadors um, in this very diverse world that, um, as, as we've seen, uh, when that doesn't happen, there, there is conflict. Exactly. Um, and, and Governor Westmore, um, if we could talk for a moment about not just this as part of Elijah's legacy, but the importance of the legacy of Elijah Cummings right now, today, globally, as well as here at home. You know, I, I, I love this family. Yeah. Uh, and I love that man. You know, Elijah Cummings was a, was a mentor. Elijah Cummings was a friend. He was someone who I consistently went to any time that I was hitting a uh, hitting a turning point or hitting a fork in the road in terms of my career. And uh, and it's not lost to me at all that I was inaugurated uh, as the governor of Maryland, only the third black governor in the history of this country. Uh, and that was on January 18th, which is Elijah Cummings' birthday. 
Mm. Uh, I, I think about what his impact means to, to all of us because he was a peacemaker. He was a bridge builder. He was someone who made sure that communities worked together and got to know each other because service will save us. And, and I'm so thankful for Jennifer and the whole family because when you think about the impact of this program, you know, 100% of the participants in the program have graduated from high school. 95% have graduated from college. Uh, this is making a market impact not just on Baltimore and on the state of Maryland, uh, but also on our society and how our, how our society continues to view each other. Reverend Al just joined the table. Jump on in, Reverend. Uh, well, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, the, hearing her talk about the program uh, reminds me of the conversations I had with uh, Congressman Cummings, and I think he saw that as one of his greatest uh, uh, contributions to society. I remember in 2001, after 9-11, and I went to Israel as a guest of Sharon Perez, and he had me talk also with Arafat. Uh, I, I ran into uh, Elijah Cummings not long after that. He said, expanded your view, didn't it? I mm -hmm. said, it's a little different from looking at that from Brooklyn than it does going over there. And the magic of what his family's done to keep that program going, and you couldn't have a better governor to, to endorse it exactly. than someone like Wes Moore, who has done that all of his life, uh, and uh, would would really always fight for justice, but say we have to be expanded. And 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 Governor, uh, how important is it in this time that we're seeing all of this uh, in the Middle East uh, that we raise programs like Elijah Cummings and raise voices like yours that talk about balance, justice on all sides, but balance. That's right. You know, I, I think about so much of the, the, the posture and the philosophy that uh, that Maryland is moving in in this time and our administration is moving in, where uh, where it really is led by by the legacy that, that Elijah Cummings laid out for us. Uh, you know, we have spent the past uh, the past few weeks meeting with, you know, with with faith leaders of all faiths, of imams, of rabbis, of ministers, going to some of the largest mosques and some of the largest synagogues in the state of Maryland and being very clear, hate has no place in Maryland and that in this time that we both uh, did things like putting together 16 million dollars towards making sure that our homes of worship are, are secure uh, but also in our first legislative session put over five million dollars to making sure we're doing uh, you know hate uh, preventing hate crimes and education for our young people so they can get to know each other you know we have to make sure that we are going to uh, we're going to fight for and we're going to preserve peace uh, we, uh, we we mourn the, the, the lives and the victims uh, both Israeli and Palestinians of what happening overseas uh, and we also know though that uh, that in Maryland hate does not have oxygen and we are going to fight to make sure that people can feel safe and secure in their own skin regardless of their backgrounds Mike Governor Moore and Jennifer after the governor uh, this program uh, part of it seems to be modeled on the old phrase role models uh, it doesn't involve celebrity athletes. And Governor, and then Jennifer, could you please talk to the point of role models in real life? Role models meaning yeah. here's a person who is a father. Here's a person who goes to work every day. Here's a person who does what he does for his family and talks about peace in the family and peace in the neighborhood. The importance of those kinds of role models. Well, you know, Mike, I think, um, you know, what I what I think of is how this is a program that uh, my dad didn't simply just put his name on, uh, but he truly lived it and breathed it like his work in Congress uh, up until his passing. He would interview every uh, single student. And I think that, um, you know, having that opportunity for for those young people to have a, a powerful congressman uh, sit down and and ask them questions ask them about themselves what they're passionate about uh, what drives them um, what makes them want to be a leader I think that he was a, a leader by example and um, so even though he is not here uh, with us physically definitely his imprint uh, is all over 
all over the program. And um, our, our fellows truly, I think, look to him as one of their role models. Yeah, the ultimate role model in real yeah. life. It was Elijah Cummings, um, Wes. And I mean, I loved his laugh too. He would say something incredibly important <laughs> and <laughs> searing, and he'd kind of bring it home, and then he'd that laugh. Wow. <laughs> uh, Wes Moore, final and, and, and he laughed with, and he laughed with his whole body. Oh, he my laughed God. with his whole yes. body. You know? When yes. Elijah Cummings laughed, you knew he was laughing, mm, and you knew it was he meant funny. it. And you, and you knew he meant it with love. Yeah. And you knew he meant it with love. And that's the beautiful thing about him. You know, he's you know, he he helped us all to remember that that public service doesn't have to be an occupation, but it has to be a way of life. It's it's this beautiful bond that we all share in this measurements of humanity. That that God, when God introduces us to the world, he introduces us all perfect all of creations of him. And that's how he wanted us to live our life, that if we're all God's children, then by definition, we are brothers and sisters. So he just asked us to live that way and to live accordingly. And so this program and the work that we're trying to do in the state of Maryland is just simply an honoring uh, of him and an honoring of what he hoped for and what he fought for. Board member for the Elijah Cummings Youth Program, Jennifer Cummings and Jennifer, I, I, I still hear that laugh and I still, I'm inspired by your father every day. And Maryland Governor Wes Moore, thank you both so much for being with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. All right.